Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 505. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So, first up is not this one. God damn it. Uh, two seasons and two specials for My Little Pony make your mark in 2023. 45 episodes of Tell Your Tale. So, let's break down what we got here. Uh, this more reconfirms what we already know, but things have been shifted and up uh, and bits. S- oof. Things have been shifted and bits, so have a refresher. Uh, Relcon has revealed a slide showing, a slide showing of the planned pipeline for Generation 5 in 2023. This includes both Tell Your Tale and Make Your Mark, with the former bringing, uh, bringing on two more seasons slash chapters, and the former with an expected 45 episodes. That's a lot. Uh, as always, things change, so we will see if they stick to the schedule. It's going to be a pony-filled year if they do. So, uh, let's break it down. Let's break it down. So, the CG on Netflix, uh, make your mark. There's gonna be two new seasons and two new specials. Um, we broke that. We broke that down um, in previous news, so that's real. So, what what do we really know about make your mark? Technically, it's the in between for the show. It's kind of the um, proper proper show. So, I I went to the wiki to check out. What's the scheduling? Scheduling. So with the first episode of Make Your Mark, which is literally named Make Your Mark, it says uh, the three pony kind now live together in harmony. Uh, however, Earth ponies still lack magic and some this type. Blah 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 blah. So anyway, um, what this tells us is that hey, that was the um movie that tells us or reminds us that hey, um, the Earth ponies now can do crazy magic. Okay, yay. So we carry on to chapter 2. So chapter 2 is a bunch of episodes. So um, go to your Netflix to watch them all. It's available now, that's cool. So uh, chapter 2 is 8 episodes in total, so that's very fascinating. And looking here, they say that there's 2 new seasons and 2 new episodes or specials. So what I'm going to interpret from that is that we're going to have probably another 8 more episodes, probably 10 depending on the budget, so uh, 16 or 20, give or take, and then 2 new specials. The specials are going to be like the first chapter, uh, a 45 minutes episode. Uh, If I'm not mistaken, uh, the... what? um, the, the second chapter, like, Easy Does It, are 25, or, sorry, probably half an hour, 25 minutes long, give or take, whatever. Uh, so, uh, they're, they're, they're on the shorter side, while the specials are a bit on the longer side. So, yeah, um, that's something interesting. And the other one is the 2D series on YouTube, Tell Your Tale, with 45 times 5 episodes. Hmm. Um, that's going to be very confusing. Uh, 45 times 5 episodes. I, um, I, I don't know how to interpret that. Um, that's because I haven't really watched Tell Your Tale. Uh, I did a bit, but the problem with Tell Your Tale for me personally is that the way that the show is structured and the way that you kind of need to watch it, and since it's on YouTube and the official My Little Pony page for YouTube is a bit... I won't say lacking. Uh, Lacking is not the right word. It's bloated. If you are trying to go down the list, go go look through everything and whatnot, they intersplice with other random videos. Granted, um, if you check out the MBS show, uh, that's how it works. Uh, News show reviews, news show reviews, gaming, 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 and so on. So, yeah, if you're trying to watch it that way, that's a bit difficult. But 
um, for this one they have a playlist but the playlist is a bit in my opinion cluttered because of how the playlist system works sometimes when you try to get a playlist on you are asked how do you want to rearrange the files or the tracks or the videos uh, from newest to latest alphabetically blah 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 and so on so with their playlists it's not bad but it's just cluttered they put in music tracks so there was a time when I was watching the show like tell your tale suddenly there was a musical number and I'm confused like wait what is this part of the episode or is this part of the song and quote unquote I got spoiled uh, but it's one of those things where it doesn't really hinder my enjoyment but it does hinder my attention span granted the episodes are short 10 minutes or lower but let's see if I can manage to how do I put this let's see if I can pay attention long enough to just cover all, everything but anyway let's move on to the next news next news is pre-orders open for new expansion announced for the My Little Pony deck building game True Talents so this one um, if we if you follow the news um, 504 we cover the other um, expansion now it's this one so following the heels of the familiar faces expansion we have yet another addition to your deck shenanigans True Talents includes 60, 7, 6, 76 more cards new mechanics and the addition of the Cutie Mark Crusaders and Zakura to play as head down below to Im uh, for image images of it along with the full breakdown the, f the release is expected for December but you can pre-order it now with bonuses <coughs> okay let's see hmm pre-order now for a December 2022 release for a limited time uh, for the uh, for a limited time order will receive the Mother Pony Adventure in Equestria deck building game Maple Pack number 343 uh, the My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game Maple Pack number 3 features four printed me meeples for true talent expansion and My Little Pony Adventure deck building game Meeple pack number 3 will add to your card for free when ordering the true expansion yeah cool we'll find your uh, we'll find okay uh, we'll find your marks come together and find your calling with the true tail uh, talent uh, talents the yeah, talent expansion for My Little Pony Adventures in Questra play as the CMCs and use the discovery ability to rally classmates and crusaders to your cause with new character cards hundreds of hun uh, hurdles uh, cards hurdles and challenges true talent adds a lot of variety and deck building strategies to your game this expansion requires the my little pony adventures in questria deck building game features new discovery mechanic encourage team deck building play as cmc's and sakura new players can uh, new player new player cards hurdles and challenges to enhance the your, your game so we can see the character cards uh, flip and play to something each player at your location may pay up to two sugar cubes to gain the same number of sugar cubes from the supply uh, flip and pay two books target player at your location may gain one sugar cube uh, these are the chaos cards I think this may be the challenge cards uh, two and two two and two Ooh. sugar cubes something uh, those are more 
ally cards. So I don't have the game, so I got no idea. But looking at the setup and everything, if you are a fan or have played this a long time already, you should probably get it. Like uh, get get it as uh, expanding the game and. I talk about it in the previous episode about what uh, what are these are and I, I'm not going to repeat myself but what I can say is that adding this to the game will make the game a lot more challenging and a lot more fun with more characters and more mechanics so yeah that, that's going to be great so let's move on to the last news for the week new Symbiote Studios for the Shy and Rarity Plush uh, Symbiote Studios have been slowly rolling out their main 6 plush over the past two years, with Dash and Twilight back in November of 2021, along with Pinky and Applejack in June. Uh, they now have two more, Fluttershy and Rarity, join the set. Each is $30 and up, uh, and up on their website now, and they are based on prototypes from fandom artists Nico Kevin uh, some links okay uh, let's see Maybe studios Nico Kevin hmm I I remember this website yes yes they're they're awesome let's see ah cool they're, they also sell pins so yeah uh, that is cool that is really cool so Nico Kevin, you know, I, I'm gonna try and do a quick Google search and see how are the original. Oh, okay, okay. Let, let's just let's just take a quick look. And yep, all right. So yeah, uh, if you've been around EQD or whatnot you've seen this plush and oh boy this guy girl person i'm i'm just gonna go by default dude which a d-o-o-d dude uh is very talented and having um symbiote commission by license the I, I don't know, but just looking at this, like, wow, if I'm not mistaken, this is huge. This is massive, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, that is awesome. So, uh, let's see, um, the Fluttershy, Fluttershy Rarity. We, we, we got this version of Rarity. Let's see, um, Rarity, um, get away. Uh, rarity, we, we got this rarity, we can compare it to this, it's, hmm, how, how would I put this, there, there are a few differences, of, obviously, and also you have to remember that uh, the Symbiote Studio um, plush is more of a mass production model or mass production unit while uh, Nico Kevin's plush are, I'm assuming custom by the way, uh, they're one of a kind and so on. I'm not 100% sh sorry, um, I'm not a expert at plush making, but what I do know is that as long as you have the patterns, you have a jumping point on creating um, plushes. For example, um, <clears throat> ponies. If you have the base body for a pony, you can easily build up, uh, build up on whatever that exists. Uh, example, the body. Um, the body is kind of simple. You just have one shape. Doesn't matter if you're a earth pony, pegasi, or uh, unicorn. Then you go to the head. Okay, you redesign more stuff. Um, heads are going to be the same. Earth ponies and Pegasi share the same head model, unless I'm wrong and so on. But still, the general idea is that uh, you just 
reuse assets and so on and then put on a horn if you're a unicorn and so on then it's just basically that so you just uh, reuse assets and so on uh, but for Kevin with this one it's pretty awesome e even with the shortcut and whatnot it, it clearly takes time just to build one at that size at that quality uh, and granted that Symbiote Studios probably commissioned or probably paid the patent rights? I, I don't know. But just imagine that Symbiote Studios asked Nico, hey dude, could we com commission you? Could we pay you for the, uh, what you call this, um, pattern design or something like that? And Kevin just says, got, you got money, give me money, I good. So yeah, I mean, probably it's not that simple, but for the explanation I'm breaking down here, it's that. So yeah, that's kind of cool. That That is really awesome. That is really awesome. And having this at the price that it is, uh, do, do we know how, how big it is? Like, have we seen the price? Sorry, um, have we seen the height? Probably it's about 30 centimeters, which is, oh goodness me, uh, 30 centimeters is how much in the matrix, or is it imperial? Goodness. 12 inches! 12 inches, I think. Let's see if my converter tells me stuff. Yay, 12 inches is about 30 centimeters, give or take. Yay, so <clears throat> it's pretty tall. So a ruler is this, so you at another so this will be this tall twilight is not even oh wow okay cool uh, and i'm referring to this twilight from 4de um she's a gal she's a doll I, I probably should clean her more often but yeah um this this here plush is from uh 4de uh I got her for hmm, $24, uh, $25. And, sorry, um, I'm just checking out stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is not 20, sorry, um, this is not uh, 12 inches, but probably around f 6, 7, 7.5 probably inches tall. So uh, that's something to... Uh, that, that's something and for an extra five bucks you'll get something really tall i may get one i, I don't know oh no rainbow dash is sold out but still uh the the plushes are cool the plushes are cool so anywho uh that's our the, 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 the those are the news for this week <clears throat> so let's move on to the next topic and next topic is what have i been doing my week so, uh, my week has been rather okay. Um, haven't been doing anything new or interesting. Uh, okay, uh, a few things. I play Magic the Gathering, put that aside. Play D&D, put that aside. Um, I watch a movie. That's something rare. Um, I watch Black Adam. And honestly speaking, it was a pretty entertaining movie. It was fun. It was full of action. I wouldn't say comedy, but it was humor. Um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who played the lead character, uh, plays a fish out of water kind of um, s character story where he is brought uh, he is trapped in the past who was brought back to the future now. And there was a bunch of conflict and he's been tasked to kind of save the world or save his land or something like that. So yeah. Uh, so the movie was fun. And if you're, uh, if you're going to watch the movie, I'll say this. Stay until the mid credits there's a uh, mid credit scene that you do not want to miss All right 
that's it. Um, I really should bring back the review, a uh, movie review for the year, mm. or movie discussion, movie review, I think. But yeah, I, I should really bring that. I'll talk to Silver about it. But anywho, <clears throat> let's wrap it up. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at www.gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also get us on from the live.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, if you... <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry. If you don't mind, also do um, subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Jacob... And probably Totara reviewing the pony episodes, comics, movies, specials, and many more. Uh, sometimes we like to do other things than ponies, and those can be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, movies, video games, and so on. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. If you support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, myself, Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you next week with another fun episode on the show. See ya!